Welcome back to DIY Boomers. Today we'll show you the process of upgrading the rip fence on our old Craftsman table saw model 113.298762 to the Delta 36T3 rip fence shown already installed here. It's a decent table saw but the original fence is just not accurate enough to build the shaker style inset tongue and groove doors that we'll be making for our bathroom vanity that we're building. The design of the old fence just doesn't keep itself straight as you lock it down. So we've upgraded to the Delta 36 T3 rip fence, which is very accurate while still being fairly affordable. Another upgrade that was needed was this LeeCraft CR-1 zero clearance table insert. When ripping the tongue on a cabinet door test piece with the wider slotted insert, you can see that the narrow tongue falls dangerously into the wider slot. The zero clearance insert keeps that from happening. Check back shortly, we'll be doing a video on installing the LeadCraft insert. The first consideration is figuring out the placement of the front rail. Draw a line at the front of the table that is in line and square with the right side of your table saw blade. The fence glide tube with the ruler attaches to the front rail. So the right side zero line on the ruler needs to end up between 5 and 3 eighths to 5 and a half inches to the right of the right edge of the saw blade to end up being accurate. Align the front rail with the fence glide tube at that measurement and clamp the front rail to the table. Fine tuning can be done by adjusting the hairline plate after the installation is complete. Now, using the supplied rail alignment gauge, adjust the front rail up or down as needed and mark the holes that you plan to use. We decided to drill the holes in the table since the holes in the front rail are countersunk to fit the flathead bolts, and any new holes in the front rail would also have to be countersunk. For placement of the shorter rear guide rail on this Craftsman model, I found that lining it up flush with the front rail on the left side edge of the table still allows full use of the ruler on the right side of the table. You can place it further to the right if you'd rather. Lining up the center of the back rail to the center of the front rail would be an option. When you get the back rail where you'd like it, clamp it to the table. Using the rail alignment gauge again, adjust the rear guide rail up or down as needed and mark the holes that you plan to use. Before you drill the rear holes, place the fence on the rail assembly and check that the fence clearance on the table is the same from front to rear. Make any adjustments and then go ahead and drill. Place the fence on the installed rails and check that the fence edge is 90 degrees in relation to the table. Make any adjustments that are necessary with the two set screws that are located at the base of the fence. Now check that the fence is square with the table when it is locked in place. I'm using one of the miter slots to make this alignment. There is also two set screws to make this adjustment if necessary. Pull the fence up out of the track to access these set screws. Now you can zero out the hairline plate as mentioned earlier. With the saw blade slightly touching the fence, loosen the plate screws and adjust the plate left or right to zero out and then retighten the screws. Then repeat the process on the left side of the fence. You may have noticed the shiny new look to the old Craftsman. We gave it new life with some WD-40 Blaster PB penetrating oil and Scotch-Brite scouring pads. 
Not only is it a much more accurate saw, but now it looks the part also. So that's it for the table saw rebuild. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to view all the videos in our bathroom remodel and the rest of our content at DIY Boomers. See you next time.